Hello everyone, and welcome to my bold and beautiful channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Brooke breaks the internet, while Steffi gets an unexpected phone call from, spoiler, Ridge and Brooke respond to press queries in Monte Carlo, following the debut of social media. Brooke exclaims that they're both overjoyed to be back, and be embraced by the press and fans. Ridge declares that Brooke Logan possesses a unique magic. At Forrester, Katie informs Zend and hope that the launch was so successful that everyone is going crazy. Steffi is on the phone with Finn, informing him that they are still waiting to hear back, but she is hoping everything went well. She disconnects and Carter announces that Brooke and Ridge made a big sensation in Monte Carlo. Katie brings up Brooke and Zend. Hope believes that what's good for Brooke's bedroom is good for the firm. Turning to Steffi, she inquires, Right. Steffi urges about getting ahead of oneself. The hype has to materialize into sales. Hope is confident that her mother's line will continue to be successful. Zend Carter Steffi. Katie Hope bed and breakfast. Carter agrees with Steffi. They need more than just buzz. They expect the social media campaign to produce tangible results. Steffi is cautiously optimistic. Hope snarks about her thoughts about her mother. Steffi hopes the relaunch is everything and more, but they'll have to wait and see. More. Is Poppy a drug addict? Brooke, in the welcome tent in Monaco, is concerned that the launch will go viral. Ridge believes her efforts will result in success. She's open and honest about herself, even her mischievous side which he enjoys. They can noodle. More. Rena Sofer's daughter in photos. As Steffi approaches Forrester, Carter tells Zend about his impressive campaign. She agrees. You did good. Zend believes in the reboot. Katie, as the head of public relations, agrees. Hope chirps that Brooke Logan has always been popular with customers and buyers. Everyone wants her to come back out there and Monaco is showing it. Given her mother's track record, she is confident that they have nothing to be concerned about. Katie agrees. Her sister looks beautiful. Carter interrupts. He is a numbers person and needs to demonstrate sales to justify Brooke's return. Hope is completely confident in her mother, and she believes everyone else should be as well. Zend Carter bed and breakfast. Brooke and Rich speak with fans on the streets of Monte Carlo. Brooke poses for selfies with them. As they continue going, the representative approaches them and informs them that Brooke's bedroom is currently trending. More crew Moro discusses Will's comeback. Katie inquires at Forrester about any orders that have been received. Hope insists that the social media drop will undoubtedly be a success. Steffi mentions striving to keep hope for the future afloat. Thomas has said that he will no longer design. Perhaps someone should have considered the company's well-being first. Carter interrupts, not wanting to repeat their dispute. Zen believes that the bedroom collection will boost sales in ways that they have not seen in a long time. Katie is agonizing in the corner. Hope notices and asks whether everything is all right. What's going on? More about Kim Matula's new movie. Rich returns to the reception tent and informs Brooke that he will phone Steffi to find out what is going on. Brooke Ridge bed and breakfast. Carter says, hell of a time for the website to crash. Zen claims there were too many orders at the same time. Hope believes they should have expected this. Steffi accepts Ridge's phone and informs him, we're on it. He's confused. She explains that the website went down. Katie announces that it is back up while she puts him on speakerphone. Soon, they're all rejoicing as Carter reports that 126,000 pieces have sold. He makes a joke. The only problem is we don't have that much inventory. Rich said they will get it. Katie and Hope congratulate Brooke. Steffi called B&B. &B. In Monaco, Brooke exclaims to Ridge, I can't believe it. I can't. They kiss. Brooke Ridge bed and breakfast. Walking again, Ridge and Brooke are approached by an elderly woman who expresses gratitude for her uplifting message to the globe. Brooke Ridge bed and breakfast. Katie informs Carter at Forrester that sales are soaring, unlike anything she has seen at the company before. Steffi agrees. Hope praises Zend and Steffi joins in. Carter gives him credit for the photo session and social media post. Zend hints that he will take all the credit. Hope also has to compliment her mother. Steffi chews her lip as Hope boasts about her legendary status. Brooke's bedroom is back, baby, and better than ever. 
Hope encourages Steffi to celebrate the triumph for the entire Forrester Creations team. Brooke is still in Monte Carlo, amazed at how beautifully the relaunch went. Ridge learned long ago not to underestimate Brooke Logan's power. She praises him for believing in her. His love and support mean everything to her. Ridge tells her that she means a lot to him. They clasp hands, and he tells her that she is the love of his life. My Logan. She coos. My Ridge. Brooke Ridge bed and breakfast. Someone is watching as Brooke and Ridge kiss. The narrator says, the role of Taylor Hayes is now being played by Rebecca Budig. Taylor takes out her phone and places a call. At Forrester, Steffi is surprised to hear from her mother and expresses her want to see her. Taylor tells her daughter that she misses her too. She is in Europe and has called to let her know she is returning home. Steffi is thrilled. Taylor promises she'll call her soon with the information. Mama's coming home. Steffi called B&B. &B. More Brooke and Rich Monte Carlo photographs. Next on The Bold and the Beautiful. Steffi and Hope argue while waiting for word of the new line's success. Brooke and Ridge's love is obvious as they take center stage at a press conference, and panic breaks in when the Brooks Bedroom Line website fails. Taylor from Bold and Beautiful is officially back, and she's played by a very familiar face. Editors independently choose all of the products and services displayed. However, Soaps.com may earn a commission on orders placed through its retail links, and the merchant may obtain certain auditable data for financial reporting. When the bold and the beautiful finished on Monday with a mysterious woman watching Brooke and Ridge in Monte Carlo, we were pretty sure Taylor was finally returning. So we were eagerly awaiting Tuesday's broadcast to find out whether we were correct or not. It turns out we were, but we weren't prepared for the following twist. Taylor is now played by none other than Rebecca Budig. When we last saw Taylor, Krista Allen had been portraying her for two years, taking over for Hunter Tyler. Then in December, Allen said that she had been let go from the show, and that Taylor was no longer needed. At the very least, the last part appears to have changed. As for Budig, we're willing to wager that most soap fans are familiar with the actress who began her daytime career as Michelle Bauer on Guiding Light, then moved on to All My Children to portray Greenlee Smythe, and was last seen as Hayden Barnes on General Hospital. Her appearance on Bold and Beautiful will reconnect Budig with Torsten K whose Zack on All My Children had a strained relationship with Greenlee. Unlike Ridge and Taylor's wild past, the two Pine Valley inhabitants have never been romantically linked, thus the actor's interaction this time around will be much different. In case there was any misunderstanding about who she was, the show handled her debut with a special announcement stating that Rebecca Budig would now play Taylor. Taylor called Steffi in Los Angeles and informed her that she was returning home after disclosing herself to us, but not Bridge. That can't be good news for Brooke and Ridge, but it probably is for Tridge fans. However, Taylor could have a completely harmless purpose for spying on her fellow Los Angeles residents. Who knows, maybe this time she'll decide to go her own way and leave the Foresters and Logans alone. Carter says, hell of a time for the website to crash. Zen claims there were too many orders at the same time. Hope believes they should have expected this. Steffi accepts Ridge's phone and informs him, We're on it. He's confused. She explains that the website went down. Katie announces that it is back up while she puts him on speakerphone. Soon, they're all rejoicing as Carter reports that 126,000 pieces have sold. He makes a joke. The only problem is we don't have that much inventory. Ridge said they will get it. Katie and Hope congratulate Brooke.